so today will be the last day for this. I'm gonna finish off the island and upload it. Why does it do this? <laughs> just, I just did this. All right, anyway, hello. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll keep going until I consider it done, but... I did get my rusted parts. Had to pull stuff from the old island, but I got it. Anyway, how's it going, Werner and Star? Oh, it's Friday for me, I'm, I'm glad. This week, man. Wow. No, this is good, because I kind of wanted to see if I could get the boat to be in the... ...in the upload. So we can stress test this. I'm gonna invite... Where are my amiibo cards? I'm gonna invite a builder. I know, organized streamer is organized, but I didn't think that this would happen. I thought, hmm, I'll just play it. Alright, how about this? I'll figure that out later. <laughs> yeah, finally the weekend. Yeah, I did Dad's birthday today. Did you do anything interesting? most of my stuff organized, but there's certain things that I don't really have something to hold them. I guess I need a folder for these things, so I put them in, like, this random tin. You got seafood? Nice. Okay, there's a particular villager I want to invite. And then I can see if it's going to carry over to the file. But, uh, the robot's gonna get made, and a bunch of other things that I didn't do last time, because I couldn't make my big robot. But now I can. So that'll be it. <laughs> oh, it's this thing. Here it is. Got it. Alright, I found it. I'm all good. I'm organized. I promise. I was looking for game. Do I have all my games organized properly? Just this. Yeah. Your dad's not a big celebrator. I can appreciate that. I kind of don't really do anything major for my birthdays either. Unless it's like a milestone birthday. Um, if people want to catch up, I catch up. But like... And that's not old man energy. That's just, I guess, how I've always been. Another gold turtle. I guess I 
Do I need to do the daily stuff even? I'm not sure. I might because I need iron. Do that right away. Then we have you as a camper. Now this is what I'm going to be curious about. If red and the campsite remain in the upload. That'd be cool if it did. If it doesn't, well, I've got nothing to lose in trying. Oh, they also give me, like, a crafting quest as well, which I could do. I figure if I'm going to have any villager camping, it should be that one. Okay, and the other thing I need to do is go around and just clean up. Don't think it does. Yeah, I mean, even if it doesn't, it's fine. Got nothing to lose. Be cool if it did, but I'm, I understand if it doesn't. Even if you can't go in the tent, if the tent is just there, that'd be nice. So I'm gonna clean up a little first. Well, yeah, if it did, it just means one extra villager, and it also means that Red's thing will be there, but I understand if it doesn't. Okay, rocking course. Because they give you recipes. I guess that's the neat thing about those cards. In hindsight, I probably should have scanned more of them in. Because I did have a few more, but... It's okay. Ah, oh, yeah. It's nice. Okay. Um, I will probably do the daily things. Just to get a little more resource. But okay, I'm going to go around and pick up junk. I guess whatever the next Animal Crossing is, just hope that they are compatible. Still. You have three cards? Yeah, I don't have that many. I have like nine or twelve. Can't remember how many boosters I bought. But they were just in a vending machine that had trading cards, and I was like, ah, oh, the Animal Crossing one's alright. And then I got villages that I wanted on the island, so that was lucky. Yeah, I might add some more mushrooms near Audie's place. Just to kind of polish that up a little more. Uh, but first, just gonna go around and pick up anything. Dig up anything that's out of place. And then I can get to, like, placing things. Like, I imagine this is gonna take a, at least a couple of hours. So it's not like, oh, I've got to put two pieces of furniture down and then I call it a day. It's, it's, there's some stuff I can do. Okay. 
Fuck, so sad it's ending. I know. You're not the only one that doesn't like. Well, I guess it's sad. I'm not going to say it doesn't like, but it's sad. But I guess it's just the positive as well. Enjoy what this was. It's a good memory. And I will come back to the series whenever the next one is. I'll do it all over again. This new stuff, but... But what I want to do here, I, I just want to play different things. It's always been the case. Like, sometimes I'll play a game that I stick around for for quite some time, and then I do what I need to do in it, and I, I move on to the next thing. But it doesn't mean it's the last time you'll see it, it just means it'll be away for a while. So then when it comes back, at least it's... I don't know, it's a better feeling. You might watch the entire series on YouTube, you can. <laughs> There'll be 141 VODs plus the, I don't know, 20 or so from like the 2020 island where I was doing Happy Home for a little bit. And then there's still the New Leaf playthrough, which is like about another 40 or so. There's six months worth of Animal Crossing content there. I was debating whether or not I'd make a, a video on it. But it was dependent on like the, the videos I made on Animal Crossing doing okay, and they did not, so I think the effort's probably too high. It's honestly the sad thing about YouTube sometimes, is like you want to make a video, but then for whatever reason, it's like the interest isn't as high. The stuff that I've made around retro gaming seems to do well, so... Well, well for someone that doesn't have that many subscribers. I think that's everything. I've gone around and kind of picked up all the junk. Alright. Okay. That's how your TikToks are, yeah. The, the thing is, it's it's not a fault of the content. I mean, sometimes it is, but... We, we live in different times with the algorithm and stuff. It's just, it's hard, man. Like, everything is, is a raffle at the end of the day. Sometimes a video pops off and it's just, I guess, right place at the right time, or you've done something that, I guess, appeases the algorithm. You know, I do this as a hobby, so I just... I don't really do the analysis stuff that, like, some people do. Where they look at, like, what they should title their video and all that stuff. Kind of just wing it. But also, I just don't want to follow the trend. I just want to make stuff that I enjoy. Because making stuff I don't enjoy, I think, will eventually lead to burnout. I've just seen it so many times in content creators where they want to make something. But then, I guess for whatever reason, they feel like they can't, and it just burns them out, ultimately. So, I guess by keeping it a hobby, can make stuff, I'll be happy with it, and then it doesn't matter too much if it doesn't do that well. Well, I'm not going to plant the money tree. <laughs> this ends today. One thing I read about that seems to be I guess a positive thing is, like, the editing style in terms of, uh, what people are enjoying has shifted a little. It's less... 
Uh, it's called, like, retention editing, but basically it's, like, quick cuts and... It's just... It's almost like what shorts are, but in long form, but I guess... Because now shorts are a thing, that style of content is more for short form now instead of long form. So long form's going back to just being less that style, which I, I kind of like more, so... That's kind of a positive. I don't mind short form content. It's just, if I'm watching YouTube, I don't want it to be in that style. Alright, uh, what have I got on me? I guess I'll get to change one more time, just so the thumbnail's different. I'm keeping the hat on. I just want to make content where I'm talking about games and stuff. I think that's the stuff I like the most, and if people want to listen, then I'm happy. If they don't, that's still fine. I guess just make it look different enough. I have so much clothing because of the gifting of items now. I have three pairs of pirate boots. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Alright, there we go. Bed, rice cooker. Okay, don't want rice cooker. Don't want that. Maybe. Statue, don't care. Garden room, garden room. Okay, I gotta keep that. Coconut milk? Oh no, I have coconut milk. Send you one. Um, does this still work? Or is the bot asleep? The bot usually posts about the YouTube channel. <laughs> so, whenever you see that. I don't have many videos on it. I've done, like, I think, six. So there's, there's not that many. I was meant to go into this. What does it sound like? I was not expecting that. Hmm. Okay. Wasn't sure what type of music that would be. Okay, uh, let's pull stuff out of storage. A few items I want to place around. Okay, that's one of them. And then I have to. Oh, yeah, right, I have pirate stuff as well. Uh. Hang on. Maybe? Because there's that back corner, there's still like a spot there. I guess I can see if it fits. I need to take out the golden armor, the rocket. The rocket one should be obvious, where is it? I'm 
pro I probably won't pass it. The rocket, the golden armor is with clothing. Let me just do that. It'll be here somewhere. I still can't believe they added search to this, but only in Happy Home and not anywhere else. Alright, it should be somewhere here. There it is. Gold armor. And where is Rocket? I know I made it. I definitely made it. Not that Rocket. That's seeding. I thought it'd be there. It has to be somewhere here. I'm probably just blind. Boots? What do you mean, boots? What for? Rusted parts. There they are. <laughs> the oh, you want a pair of the pirate boots? Yeah, sure. Thought you were trying to say that I needed them. Pietro's pissed. <laughs> what am I missing from it? I thought I got everything out. Big robot. Gold. I forgot the gold. Okay. Yeah, don't want to make a pirate angry. I guess some folks haven't been paying attention to my heart. Oh, don't start with that. I'm good. I'm walking away from this conversation. <laughs> Not something I want to engage with. I'm good. I also gotta make the rocking horse. What's my sign? I don't know and I don't care. I don't like things where people use it as a way to put people in a box and that's what horoscopes do. It's like people judge before they even get to know you. I've just had too much of that happen in my life so I, I don't engage in anything related to that. You've seen people refuse to go on dates because of their sign. Ex exactly. Stuff like that. Exactly stuff like that. It's just... And I've had just... Similar things, but in different ways happen. So, I just don't want anything to do with anything that puts people in boxes, you know? I made the robot hero. That's extreme. Yeah, well, it, it happens. 
Like, I'm not even going to debate the science of it. For me, it's more about... I just... I don't like it when people make assumptions on how a person is before getting to know them. I don't mean to cut the topic short, but it is probably one of the very few things that I, I straight up just don't want to, like, even talk about or go down the topic too much, because it's just something I have... Z if I could express less than zero interest somehow, it would be for that. Where is that rocking horse? I thought I got the softwood out, maybe I didn't. I guess, see, that's the thing, like... Any any time I've gotten asked that question, the motive behind it is for them to try and figure out my personality before getting to know me. Like, that's purely why that question gets asked. Sometimes it's small talk. But, I don't know. The experiences I've had, it, it's, it always leans towards, like, oh, I have an idea of what kind of a person you are without even talking to you. works out. <laughs> It'd be cool if I could get the tent in there. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. That and fortune tellers, people restructure their whole lives based on whatever they get told. Yeah, I mean, look. That stuff, I don't believe in it. I think a lot of the time it's just people get taken advantage of. Because at the end of the day, it's not like they're doing that service for free out of the kindness of their heart. It's like a business. And you can call that jaded or whatever, but... You know, I don't fault that a person tries to find meaning. That I will never fault, because that's like a basic human thing. But I will fault the people that take advantage of that. And that is like, that whole like, psychic area of, uh, services. Yeah, yeah, cold reading, I know, that's... Almost like a form of fishing.
All right, I'm going to see what colors this robot is available in. And some of the other things I have. I didn't... Cro uh, I mean, I'll just be back and forth. Like, it's not like I'm in a rush. Okay, half sus. Oh, right, yeah, Red's in town. Okay, let's see. Big robot. Oh, damn. I gotta think of, like, the theme. Probably blue would make the most sense. Between blue and white. If this was purple, I would pick purple. Purple would, would go really well with what's over there, but there's no purple. Green? It I like how green looks, but it's for the arcade where... The color palettes are like purple, blue, and light blue. To have green amongst that would look a little weird, I think. White is neutral, it would work. Blue is fine. This, I think, is too dark. That, uh Yeah, I think blue is probably the right call. And then I'm going to move the Godzilla thing to the theater, so I guess I have to bring Godzilla here. And make Godzilla the normal color, I guess? Which is just, like, dark? Um, I need to go with a garden gnome that I don't have. I'm going to place some of these around the place as well. Yeah, I mean, it's been very vanilla, but nothing wrong with vanilla. When I think garden gnome, that is the most garden gnome of garden gnomes. Oh, didn't I have one more? Total radio, robot hero, lifeguard chair, flower bed, flower bed. Another look. Did I send the boots? Not yet. I went and did this first. have alternatives if I can't do what I want to do.
Okay, um, the other thing... I kinda remember. This flower cart. I need to make it, but it's... Pretty sure I'm right. right I'll go back. The only item I, I guess I didn't find the recipe for was the doghouse, but I'm not too fussed about that. <laughs> I, got, I got a cat tower. That's like, it's similar. I just wanted something ridiculous. To imagine, hey, this is, this belongs to the turtle. It's not a dog, it's not a cat. This is a turtle's house or a play area. And I got that with the cat tower. So, that's fine. Oh, right. Hold on before I forget. I think I <laughs> need to get like a drink or something to wake me up a little. Oh, if you could understand the week I've had. Okay. Did I put them away? <laughs> I think I may have put them away. Oh god damn it, I put them away. Now I have to do this again. Store for later, it's okay. You can come back to it. Oh, I didn't withdraw it. I swear I did. I don't know. My my brain is is a mess today. You're gonna think, man, he, he's like, uh, very forgetful, I'm concerned. Well, it's not for nothing, because I saved it. I saved it as a draft. If anything, it adds to the comedy of the situation. I was trying to be funny. And this just makes it even funnier. Because <laughs> I had to stop and come back. Like, what if I'm just... Trying to be funny, like comedic timing. I probably put it away because I was like, oh, the boots, I don't need them. Which is correct, I don't need them, but <laughs> I need to send them. Yeah, there you go. Cool. There you go. I got nook miles for that. I have sent five letters. <laughs> yeah, enjoy. All right, let's get going.
I'll go check in with the red in a bit. First thing, after m massive amounts of effort. It's <laughs> gonna look cool. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Okay, it's kind of... I think that's fine. Make it face that way. Pull it in one. There we go. Neat. Um, and now I'll put the Godzilla statue at the theater. Which, I guess I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's why I really wanted that statue, because I, I knew it looked good. It's just, man, is it a hassle to get all that stuff. Honestly. So many steps. That's a bin. Not that. I mean, I'll go put the other one at 40s. You're tired of how much sleep did you get? It's okay. Like, I've said this before, there's a large percentage of people here that are uh, night owls slash don't sleep. Myself included. Dude. I wanted to give Audi a bin. So that's what I'm gonna do. Last night. Oh, as long as you've slept. 3.15 is late, but could be later. Okay. Well, it's officially night time, so that's all I wanted. I wanted it to be officially night time. Alright, now the question is, do I want anything here? I think I should be able to use this to my advantage. It did work. Cool. Why couldn't it face the correct way? There we go. Oh, you want you want to come steal my treasure? There we go. <laughs> yeah, that works. I think the wheel would be overkill. There's no need for the wheel. Nice. Alright, I'm happy with that. Okay, this is kind of a pain to sign. It, I want the sign to be here, but at the same time it kind of makes it difficult to walk through.
going to sleep. All right, Vanna, no worries. Thanks for popping in. Have a good night. I'm going to distribute some mushrooms now. Where are they? They're somewhere here. Oh, here they are. This, this, and this. Got it. Oh, that was this, this grew. This was not there before. I mean, my island is five star. Uh, maybe I'll do something with that, I don't know. Okay, this is where I'm gonna place some shrooms. Oops. Not like that. Minor detailing. As long as you can see them, that's the idea. Um, probably one more here. not in this list, so what am I missing? Oh, it is there. Okay, cool. I have what I need. Flower cart. wagon? Okay, well, whatever that is. Ah, uh, I don't have. Okay, but you can see it. I need customization kits. Is that? The mixer. Sampler. Just didn't think what it was because of the wood. Oh, thought I had stuff to sell. Guess not.
I gotta, gotta think what else I... I had a list of things that I wanted to do before I uploaded. <laughs> Ticking them off one by one. After Godzilla statue, I think. There's a couple more things. I should be more organized and write my plans, but... I also believe in winging it creatively. Okay. Oh, you're here. Wait, does that mean she's also gonna be... If I save the island and upload it, does that mean she's gonna be around as well? I guess I picked a good night, huh? Okay, I do kind of want to make it part of this. It's just a matter of whether or not it'll fit. So let me see. I'll move this forward if I have to. Oh, it's small. I thought it was a lot bigger. Oh, hell yeah. It's tiny. I thought it was a lot bigger. No, this is good. Shows what I know. Now that works perfectly. I might even do a second one, but just color it differently. What am I missing? Hyacinths. Uh, but that would mean I'd have to pluck flowers. No, okay, I can't. <laughs> because I said I'd be done today, so... That would just prolong it by like another two days, which, nah. I'm good. I mean, one's enough. Gets the idea across. I guess if I wanted to go with some symmetry, I got a, I got an alternative I can do. that one, but I'd need to go customize it. Or... Eh. Nah, I'll go. I won't be lazy. I need to go to the halves anyway. Okay. I got this. I'll be back. Please. I'll just set up a table that has stuff on it that's plant related and then it's kind of similar. It's not a cart, but at least it's, it's something sitting behind the counter. Not that. <sighs> Start the conversation again, because you weren't paying attention. Halves. Okay. I'm 
Probably that. Oh, <laughs> damn it, the money. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. hold on. Because the wagon I have is, is that color, so. I'm just glad that the money I had was enough. I was worried that it wasn't going to be enough. So I did get through it. That one. I mean, that one is correct. I'm gonna go set this up at the theater. So the way this is gonna go, because when you upload it doesn't let you visit all the villages, at least not that I could see when I've gone to dreams. So at the end of this, I'm going to walk through the whole island slowly. So then I guess there's footage of it. Not that there isn't, but at least in its final form. So that might take a little bit of time. I guess I can't visit every house though. Hmm. But I mean, uh, like, I haven't changed the houses in over a month, so refer to old streams if you want to see some of the houses. Just looking. Okay. Here's probably still the best of that. So does alter this ever so slightly. I hope it fits. Ooh, maybe this plan won't work. Let's see. I thought it was three. Oh no, because of this. It needs to be like another half. Okay, um. Do that. This should fit now. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't let me get in though. Uh. Okay, what's my plan B? What's the problem here? The problem is this entry is one too low, so I'd have to make this the entry here. I think I can make it work. This is going to need a lot of adjusting, but I'm up for it. sucks, but no choice. Hold on. I need to 
be certain this is what I want. Or I could just completely close off the theater. It's like... Yeah, maybe that's best. Okay, hang on. It's a good thing I have simple panels still. fix up anything that needs fixing. It's just gonna be a bit of a hassle. I was doing this in Happy Home, this would be much quicker, but... Uh, hang on, what's the best way to do this? I guess just... Ah... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to just do this. There is room! <laughs> Don't lie to me. it again. Go. On. Alright, this isn't too bad. Place it again. Take this out. done this in such an inefficient way. It's okay. Store. Hopefully that's the yellow one. Yep, cool, that's fine. The symmetry. I can walk in, good. Alright, now the stools. I did space them out before, so that's fine. They can just be next to each other now. placement sometimes. Okay, hang on. Ugh. Up one. Okay, 
There we go. Yeah, still functional. Okay. No. Uh, distraction. I need to just add more wood there. Aligned with this chest, so I just need one here. Okay, and then there we go. Alright, and now I gotta adjust this ever so slightly. I had to ditch the radio. I mean, you can squeeze in. It's a little awkward, but... Who cares about sports? As a city planner, I just put this here so then people wouldn't complain that there was no facilities for sports. Okay. Uh, that... well, eh, that's fine. I'll leave it like that. I was thinking about putting one more panel, but I think it's okay like that. Lifeguard chap. And then that table I was thinking of doing. Uh, I did put this here, so that'll change the plan a little. Lifeguard chair will go here. Um, the more Casual chair, where is it? Okay, here. Yeah, you can't play stuff on the cooler. It's fine. Yeah, that works. Okay, now the other thing I was gonna do. Get this. Is that face? Yeah, it's facing the right way. What? <laughs> okay. 
All right, that's pretty much where I'm headed anyway. I shall do this. Plus, he partially got to see Scoot's place, I guess. place how it ended up being. I just set up a gym. That's his whole thing. He's running a gym. So there's a little area to sleep in in the back. And then the rest is just gym equipment and bathrooms for the gym. I mean, he had one of these in his original house, though. So. Oh, he has two. Okay. I guess I can put this away for now. stuff I don't need. It's so weird that it says drop when it really means place, but, okay, there we go. Then it, it goes, wait, put the same one twice. There we go. It fits with what's going on on this side. That works. that I have left to do. I think most of it was just placing things around just to kind of show signs of life. Oh, I haven't placed any magazines anywhere. I might go throw a couple around. Uh, what else? I 
did want to set one of these up somewhere, but I don't think I have the space. I'll go see. magazine down. Ah! <laughs> Don't go in there. I just want to throw something in. There we go. That'll do. Hmm. I never did put a big table anywhere. I think they're just too awkward to work with. If I put a magazine here, it's going to block the path. Uh, where else? I guess there's a magazine there. I want to place it somewhere where it doesn't get in the way. I mean, here wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. That. Uh, make it face that way. Wait, is that? No, that's... There. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about this board game. I kind of wanted to set something like that up, but... It's not really... It's not really anywhere. Adjust this to maybe allow for a big table. Let me let me mess around with this. I might be able to set it up here. I think it'd be a shame not to do that. I don't really have, because I want to get stools. I don't really have any other stools. I have these, but... Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll just go with that. All right. Give me a sec. Oh, you can't customize stone stools, so they're just the way they are. here a little. It's already asymmetrical as it stands, so... so I can just... a way to do it. I forget how to do it. I think you have to place it from above to long. Being careful. There's a way to do it. Oh, you're kidding. You can do it in Happy Home. How do you place something perfectly in the middle? Oh, this is going to drive me crazy. This might be the reason I didn't do this. Huh. Okay, hang on. Let me look this up. Animal Crossing New Horizons place in middle. Okay, hold on. It just says keep throwing it and eventually you'll get it in the middle. What kind of advice is <laughs> that? Oh. Okay. There's a specific spot. Good Lord. I'm gonna accidentally pick up a flower and it's gonna ruin things. I gotta be careful. Trying to find an answer to this. Someone else is trying to center their board game as well. That's funny.
It doesn't look like. Wait, someone found a way. Alright, hang on, I gotta mute this stuff audio. <laughs> this is... We have so many buttons on the controller and they really... Really can't, like, make it so you hold the trigger button to do this. Apparently, hang on. Okay, what's the way? Let's hear it. Dude, the fact that this is just like such a hidden secret. Apparently it's a glitch. Okay, how do you do it? Ugh, I need a TLDR on this. It's like a six minute video for something that's probably a 30 second answer. Such a colossal oversight. listening. Sorry, chat. It is important that this happens. <laughs> okay. I think they're up to the glitch now. This is very, this is very complicated. Oh, this is, this is gonna suck. All right, I'm gonna have to replicate this. Dear Lord, this is gonna be such a setup. But I guess I'm doing it. I want this done. Um. Ah, oh, this is going to be annoying. Okay. You're gonna have to bear with me on this one. I can't believe it. It's <laughs> such a major oversight. Just why they don't just allow this, but okay. I'll get it done. It's so bizarre. Okay. I'm looking at this picture, how exactly it works. Okay, so. I mean, if I'm interpreting this correct, I think this is correct. I'm gonna have to destroy a couple things, but it's in the interest of perfect alignment. Oh, hold on. Realized. Okay. And then what the T 
telling me is like... Not that one. Yeah. This one. Okay, that's the setup. Oh shit. Okay, it's in cur Hold on. Okay, I'll get it, I'll get it. Okay, I, I see I see what it does. Okay, I have this I have the setup. <laughs> so dumb! I hate this. <laughs> I hate that I have to do this. Okay. Uh, no, it, it wouldn't be a oh, damn it. It wouldn't be a playthrough of mine if I'm doing something like this. This one, however, is intentional. It's not me doing this unintentionally. You have to be, like, perfect, and then... Yes! <laughs> oh Alright. Perfectly in the middle. You saw it. You saw how I did it. Hey, Nick, though. Unbelievably dumb. But, yeah, this was probably the reason I never did this, was just... Because I couldn't have it perfectly in the middle. So, there is an answer, it's just involving a glitch. And all I can say is, thankfully I had... I had the item... That allowed you to do said glitch. There we go. Nice. Okay. You know, I think even based on this... Now that I see this, it's kind of better. Because then it gives more breathing room here, and then all I can do is just, like... Rearrange this slightly. Yeah, that's better. Then this is less cluttered and it's kind of walk through it a bit easier. Yeah, no, that's that's where I was aiming. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, that works. I'm happy with that. If only people knew <laughs> ultimately how hard the sort of beam to set up. Okay, uh, I need to get 
other players for that, so I can know that. Gotta do a, a sweep and see that the island is free of this before I wrap up. You know, well, I guess that's that's close enough. If I'm going to be super pedantic about it, it's just the positioning of the pieces. I think it's close enough. Uh, I gotta get music playing here. somewhere. Well, I guess that's kind of out of the way. I'll put, where's that adventure music? board game they're playing. Alright, cool. Well, that was, uh, that was a lot of effort. Some ambience for their D&D. I- ugh. Now that you say that, I kind of want to see what other board games are available, but then I'd have to go to the effort of redoing this. That's fine. Look, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I probably should have done that first and checked what board games are available. I'm not going to go through that process again. I think it's fine. Oh, well. Hindsight. back where it was. There we go. Though... <laughs> if I'm gonna be pedantic about it, it shouldn't be facing that way. It should be this way. Oh, don't do this to me, not now. There we go. Yep, that's the right way up. And place this back. Oh, 
All right, cool. So, let me have a walkthrough. Just a sanity check before I upload. I just want to make sure there's no, like, extra junk. I might pick up stuff as well that just doesn't look right. Yeah, I got treasure as well. Oh yeah, I need to check in with Red as well. I haven't done that today, but not that it matters too much. Can't have that. like that. Uh, what about here? Is this looking okay? Oh, it's a branch there. Get rid of that. <laughs> the amount of hidden music players I have just so the market would play the music. No matter where you are, it it took a bit. Yeah, that's junk. I can go, that can stay. I don't want holes, I don't want twigs. I gotta just double check. That's fine. This uh, maybe get rid of this one. Get rid of this. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff here. Just go with that one. I think I picked the good knight to do it because shooting stars are around as well. Red's in town. I summoned the villager. Celeste is also here. So hopefully all that carries over to the upload. And if it doesn't, eh, I, I, it's not like I went out of my way to line this up. It just so happened that it happened. Okay, this is looking good. Oh, ha, there's something out of place. overnight. It was raining yesterday. that it still loads. Okay, I definitely checked around here, so let's set attention to here. I think I've been pretty thorough. I guess the only place I should probably check closely is here. I think I'm content. Alright. I'm gonna go see red and then I think I'm gonna upload it.
What? <laughs> what? You know what? I was going there. That's gonna be a shortcut, so sure. Yeah, this is it. I mean, the house has been in a state of finale for a while. I wish I could just place the helmet without the mannequin thing, because that would be nice to put next to a skateboard, but it just doesn't work. <sighs> well, it's not perfectly in the middle. Go lower. Okay, good. Alright. Now I'm just gonna put stuff away. Usually if you do this, they tend to leave, so... stuff to do. Right, I'm gonna go see Red real quick. And then we can wrap this up. I'll do like a full tour of the place and share final thoughts, I guess. Which will eat up a lot of time, don't worry. Like, it'll be at least half an hour, if not more. I suppose you can also visit this place yourself, given that I'm going to upload it. But we'll get we'll get to that. Ah, uh, what does a does a construction thing? How much is it? I mean, I don't know where I'd even put this. Um, I have all of this art, so... Actually, I don't think I have this one. This is authentic. Not that it matters. <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna be getting everything, it's gonna be off-stream. But, maybe. Just to finish the art gallery and whatnot. I guess it, it depends how the upload comes out. Like, if it does include red, the tent, and just everything that's going on, I am not going to try and align these stars again. Like, it's just going to be this way. Okay. Hold on, I have a curiosity about something. Oh, you know what? There you go. Of the hit and jackhammer, why not? It's Red working on like another secret tunnel for his illegal casino, which I'm helping facilitate, I guess, with my house slash venue. All right, guess it's time. I shall upload it, and then I'll go through it. Oh, hold on, before I do. I know this is kind of lame, but <laughs> hold on. I forgot to do one thing. 
I want to wake up! <laughs> Get me out of here. No, I forgot one thing. Because you can set, um... Your profile, it says... There's like a quote thing that appears when you talk to yourself. When you visit the dream. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put my, like... I know, it, it's, it's a little cringe. <laughs> but... Profile? Am I blind? A oh, oh, passport, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, this because this is what this is what appears. Hang on. So I'm just gonna put like my website there. So I will share this on Reddit and whatnot, but... <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's got my Happy Home Network ID. That's useful. In case you want to see my Happy Home stuff, it is there as well. The stuff that I did with the uh, time limits. There's some good stuff up there. Okay, now I can do this. Yes, just in that... Ah, all right. Where was I? I want to share a dream. When you share a dream of your island, other players, including ones you don't know, will be able to visit. Yep. That means that player-generated data about your island and its residents will be captured. This includes your name, your passport info, the look of your entire island, rooms and homes, custom designs, any bulletin board posts and more. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Alright, here it goes. What, like six months? <laughs> however long this took. Not that I was working on the design for six months, but the playthrough was about six months. Probably a little more. Imagine it doesn't work. It's just like, sorry, you got too much stuff on your island. Servers can't handle your island. There you go. It's uploaded. Okay. So I'm going to screenshot this. and I have a copy of it. But also feel free to note it down if you want to visit it. Okay, and I'll do this as a... Okay, uh, that's done. So what is that? It's like 95755089909. Yeah, well, there's not going to be any changes. This, this is final, final. Yes. I'm curious if I can visit my own... I guess, let's see if I can visit my own thing. Because then I can see how it turned out. And I just want to see if, like, the campsite remained in the dream or not. It'd be cool if it did, but we'll see. 
Okay, bear with me. I can't see any reason why you can't visit your own dream. Search by dream address. Okay, um, nine, five, seven, wait, nine, five, seven, five, five, zero, eight, nine, nine, zero, zero, nine. I swear. Never mind. Of course not. Like, why would it allow it? I can visit my own island on my other Switch. I'm just gonna have to trust that it's fine. Like, it, it's fine. It's there, so that's it. It's uploaded. Have at it. Okay, well, we can start with, I guess, looking around the whole thing properly, right? So, I mean, this room is a result of me saying, hey, my house is going to be a venue. And I put everything you would want in the living area here. I mean, the gold toilet was a, a joke. I, I get that. <laughs> but it's a small living area that has everything. A little kitchen... Area for gaming and crafting. Bedroom, place to eat, and shower, you know, sink, toilet, all that stuff. So, I just want to make sure that this is at least documented to some degree on the VODs later. I'm happy with this. This is like a little bit of a challenge. Just a small area, do as much as you can. Yeah. Okay. Now to the theme of this place. Decide on a venue, so set up a bar here. I think this is probably the coolest thing about the house is just the gyroids are the bar patrons. You know, it looks like they're having conversations and stuff. The gnomes are security guards. <laughs> That's what I went with. I did end up getting every village a photo, so, you know. They're all up here. And then I added Pascal. I don't really see this one that much, but I had to move it. There's another helmet up there. I'm trying to get an angle on it. I bet if I go into photo mode, it'll allow me. Hang on. I just want to make sure it's captured. You know what? This is probably a good way to do it as well, because I can... Oh, that's better, actually. I might have to go back into the previous room and do this. Because then there's no UI. And if I want to generate, like, videos for this... Yeah, I need to do this. I'm going to have to do this in the previous room, so bear with. See it. We'll do two spins of it and then that'll be enough per room. Alright, 
ので。I need to do like a little mini reel just so people want to visit the dream. Okay, uh, camera. Get rid of UI. Then zoom out. There we go. This one's a bit more awkward to do. Why is that thing swinging? <laughs> what's... Oh, the air conditioning is causing wind. I'm like, what's causing wind? It's the air conditioning. I mean, that's pretty strong for it to be moving around as strong as it is. Look at it. It's like a gust of wind is being applied on it. Alright, that's two full revolutions. Moving on. So if any good venue, there's a place to get food. So Just a little kitchen. Stand in the middle of the room. Hide UI, zoom out. There we go. Yeah, this gets a full point across. I like this though. Even though it doesn't really make sense, the menu board is like, oh, they have sandwiches and juice, but then they have frying pans that's cooking a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> it's fine. Secret menu. They'll make you fish. Rotations. The house is going to be the one that takes the longest. The others, I, I'm not going to rotate the camera or anything. It's just going to be kind of a still shot. Alright, um, you know what? Let's just work through this one. Not that I'm going to show this room off, but this is more of an amusing room for those visiting. But, you know, it's a, it's a bathroom. Like, why is there an ATM in the bathroom? Is because this leads to the secret casino. Guarded by a gnome. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the gyroid. Ah, oh, man. It's funny. I still find it funny. I am an adult, I promise. There's not really a whole lot else going on. It's, it's, it's a bathroom. It's fine. Two good rooms are up next. Let's 
so upstairs and downstairs music areas. Are they showing swimming while playing tennis audio? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I didn't notice. This room's cool. Live music. This is still my favorite room. bar in the background. Oh yeah, I forgot to zoom out. The wiggly arm dudes are great. It's perfect for the guitar. I had to get a second one. <laughs> it looks so good. They also look really good when um, they're on the uh, at the arcade. They look like they're playing the game as well. best ideas for this island. Can't, I've seen people use gyroids, but not in this way. I want to say uh, this was highly unique. Alright, that'll do it. Downstairs music room. I mean, this one. I like the lighting that I did. And also the, uh, the flames, that's just perfect. Everything while I'm here. Makes my life easier later. <laughs> but I don't think I've shown this off properly before. Okay, so I mean, that's the house. Um, I'm gonna start with the area that's a pain to get to. Again, it's, it's perfect that red is in town. I did not plan it. It just sells the idea even more. Get the camera out. I can't zoom out on this one. I mean, it's a casino area. The whole idea was, well, this is a place where Red has his ship, and the moment the law gets involved, he just leaves. <laughs> but it's his casino. So I've got the gyroids as the dealers. And then these, like, well, I guess this is Mahjong, but you know, 
You can gamble with Mahjong. I've, I've seen that. I've seen it. ATM to get money, a bar to get drinks, and a place to get art. <laughs> I think it, it fits pretty well. And there's no way to get here. The only way is through this. So there's a guard, there's a curtain. <laughs> you have to be let in. We'll know the secret way in. Thematic use of the pipe. Okay. Well, let's start with the outside of here. So, for my venue, I have uh, a little beer garden outside. Pretty simple. I mean, there's, there's an entrance here where there's a guard. I'll show that in a bit. A little pond. And then, like any good venue, well, I guess any busy venue, there's a line. <laughs> so you need to get in line. There's no line tonight, but... Yeah. There we go, that got start. You know, you get checked for ID, then you go inside. We are a legit legitimate establishment. Okay. Front of it. I mean, pretty simple. It's just a guard, the sign. Not a whole lot. Next door, Pecco. Unfortunately, I can't visit her house, but I made it so Pecco's running a tea house. This one came together pretty quickly because a lot of these items I had early on. So the idea, I think this was one of the earliest ideas I fleshed out. Just because I, I had the items for it and it was pretty straightforward to do. There's a chair missing here. I need to go, I need to go fix this. <laughs> There's a chair missing there. Hold on. I think I know why. See? You have to double check sometimes. Now I gotta go re-upload it. It's a good thing it happened on the same night, though. Uh, where is that chair? That one. There was something I did in the background here. I think it's when I went to plant these flowers for consistency. I forgot to put the chair back. Alright, this is normal. Let me just quickly... Fix the upload. <laughs> Version 1.01 .01 Dash final. Say, uh, a hot fix.
It's alright. I doubt anyone's visited it in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 or so minutes. About my island's dream. Update the dream. Ah! Uh-oh. That's annoying. Hmm. How can I bypass this? I think there's a way to bypass this and still keep everything the same. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. I need to think about this one. If I change the clock... to be yesterday and then come back to today, but then we get the feeling red might be gone. Alright, I might have to do this myself. I'll figure it out. If it doesn't include red in the uh, the dream, then I, I'll just update it. But if it does, I might have to let that one slide. It's just too perfect otherwise, so I, I guess I'll check the dream later. I can do that, because I have my other switch. It's a mild oversight on my part. But it's fixed now. Yeah, I like how this, this one turned out. Purposely got the two different statues. Okay. Alice's place. I mean, this was more loosely based around stuff that I see here. Particularly the, uh, the flower colours. I made a little pond. Place to sit. Well, don't they say you shouldn't feed bread to ducks, but <laughs> there isn't anything that's like seeds or feed. Then I made a little artist studio here, so like a crafting bench. I don't know what else to do with this area, so I just turned it into, I guess, a studio. An outdoor one. And then a bit more of a studio here with... thyroids, I guess, joining in on the painting. left this as a beach. Not really anything else, just clean. Alright, the park. This has all the flowers that I didn't really use anywhere, um, and since lilies were the native flower, that's the majority here. I think that's all the hybrids and everything. So it's all here. The statue. <laughs> I 
This pain. This painful process to get this thing to be in the middle. But it does work. It's there. Of all the things, like really, don't let chairs out of place. Yeah, I, I like the final adjustments I did to the park, it makes it feel a bit better. It's not as cluttered with this. This feels more open and easier to walk around. Okay. Going along now, this is the theater. So I set up concession stand. You can buy snacks or tickets. ATM. Oh, okay. You're here too. <laughs> I wonder if you got uploaded. Um, everyone's here today. Just, yeah. Frozen drink machines, vending machine, snack shelves. Remove this here, so now... Sometimes when you go to the movies, they have a display for a movie. That's why this is here. Two waiting area seats. The theater itself. Used massage chest, so it's like a deluxe theater. Okay. The entry to Red's secret casino, again, just blocked by a guard. Very inconspicuous basketball court because I felt like I had to have something sports related so here we are it's a little on the small side but it works and then I also set up a spot for river fishing Because one thing I realized when I had a bunch of stuff around was that I didn't really leave spots for fishing, so I did go around making little piers. Okay, Sasha's place, the arcade. Again, the gyroids with the the, the arms <laughs> it just makes it look like yeah, I like it. Taking their games very seriously. Um, Big robot, go with the theme of the rest of it. I put one of the fake statues in this pod, so then yeah, it looks cool, I think, anyway. Foosball table, bunch of pinball machines, and then a little lounge area, which has like those, those seats, captain seats, I think they are. I can actually go into Sasha's house, so. I treated Sasha's house as like a place where you go redeem for prizes. And also Sasha lives here, but. So a prize counter. I mean, the TV does kind of clip into my head, but it's fine. Skill tester, the prizes on the wall. I mean, there's a switch up for grabs. There's always the one prize that's unrealistic for anyone to get. That's just there as a, a draw. I guess I put gyroids in here as well as prizes. 
And yeah, he just lives here. He has everything. Alright, let me do the... little spin. I won't be able to do this for every house because it's not open, but... I like how this one turned out. It'll probably be part of the upload, but... I guess it depends if I decide to update it. Get that one chair back in place. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Keep going. Alright. Uh, I kind of set this up as just another park. Not really a whole lot else I wanted to do here, so I was like, okay, I'll just make a park. I'll try different fencing. I think it worked. This is just a fence and then it has that pattern I got that's just the basket. So I mean it's fine. Audie's house. This one I did very early on. Just stuck with the mermaid items and then kind of did. I guess the color palette is called Bubblegum Goth, but <laughs> I don't know. I figured it, it fit with the rest of it. It's just... Purple, black, and then I guess other colors that go along with that. And pink. I think it works well. Put some shrooms down the side just for decoration. Okay, up the back. This is a bit of an Easter egg, but reference to One Piece. If you get it, you get it. Swimming around the island, you'll be able to visit it. Okay, into the hills. I guess with this, I just wanted to do like a lookout that's just. There's just stars everywhere. And I guess I could have put a normal bridge here, but I wanted to be a little different, so. It looks this way. I think it's fine. Like the back part kind of blends in pretty well. And then up here, just, you know, a place you can look out. Tables. I didn't have the recipe for the uh, the clock you can make, but this works just as well. It can be seen as just little table lights. And then I kind of decorated the surroundings using the different fragments. So making them behave like miniature lights instead of the fragments. They look nice, especially at night. Some random bicycles, just so it looks like people live here. And just put more mushrooms around the place. Which I had to fetch from my original island, because mushrooms don't happen until May, so... <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, most of the flowers are, are just stuck to the three flowers that took the longest to get. The blue rose, the green mum, and the purple wind flower. I figured if I spent so long getting them, that I should use them. So I did. Okay, the cafe was originally part of the museum next outdoor, but I kind of figured, well, there's already a cafe on the inside, so I moved it here, and I think that was the right move. Give it, gave it more space. And then also this area, because I had it as just an outdoor reading area. It felt a bit weird. So I kind of changed a little, so it's just, instead of outdoor reading, it's just... Just this. I mean, there's still books and stuff around, but there's not bookshelves or anything. So it's just blankets and pillows and snacks. More from the cafe. And I put like another outdoor area. Okay, up here, I mean, it's just creating like these little pools of coral stuff in there, seaweed. Windmills. Okay, pirate area. <laughs> to put like a rusted old yacht. And then just a bunch of treasure. A lighthouse. Um, a throne. You can see a reference to Dragon Ball in the background. I think this came out pretty nice. Okay. So, I mean, this side of the beach is a lot of just rock pools. I did fix this so you can walk through here. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why it took so long to sit. I mean, there's still some rock pool stuff here. Pretty easy to do the stuff. It's just the glowing moss stuff, the shell lamp, and then there's just that pattern on the ground. I just put random things. And I planted just random plants on the ground, so then it looks like there's greenery. Because you can get this sort of stuff on beaches. It's not just all sand. Okay, campgrounds. I mean, camping area. The central fire going on. Over here, I put this. So yeah, it's worth all the other tents. I think this turned out good. More camping stuff. I guess I'll run down the beach. Yeah, I mean, each one... 
is a little mini camp area, so... I did it in a small grid that has one item, a bed, and then a tent and a light source. I did have to sacrifice something here, but the other ones are more consistent. Yeah, like this. So you get into the chair from this side. And it works, it's all functional. I tried to make each one different. It's one looking at the stars, one's got reading, other one's just having a grill. And the last one has a, a pet hamster, I guess. Because <laughs> the colors matched, it worked. Alright, before we continue that way... The food truck area. First food truck, ramen. And then I also put like a little fishing area here. Or a place you can sit next to the river, either way. Since you can't actually get there, I just put gyroids eating. But there is a way you can sit here, I think. I think these are... Yeah, you can. So not everything is something that's accessible, but it works. In the background... So I decided that Scoot advertises his gym. So the idea is... <laughs> Places advertisements near the food truck area. It's like, hey, go work out this way. And it's also near the campgrounds. Okay. Food truck number two, I made it a pizza place. And I loosely based it off a burger place that's here in Melbourne. Um, the aesthetic is like, they use stuff from old train carriages. But, uh, decided to use this kind of fencing, just make it a little bit rustic looking, and then the construction stuff as well. But yeah, it's a burger place here where, on top of this apartment building, they placed three old train carriages just on the roof. They bolted them in. So, you get burgers from the ground floor, and then you can go to the roof and eat them and sit in old train carriages overlooking the city. Pretty nice. So, it kind of... Well, it's not the same look, that look, I guess. Just taking old train carriage seats. Even the pattern is, I think, loosely similar to the one we had in... And not that I was around for it, but the trains didn't get decommissioned until... I want to say like 2010, but they were around since the 70s. Those trains sucked when they would turn up in summer. They would turn up, I would straight up wait for another train because the air conditioning was just horrible in them. And if you live in Australia, you'll know that the temperatures can get above 35 Celsius or I guess 100 Fahrenheit. And being in a giant metallic <laughs> carriage. It's basically an oven. It's, it's not great. You can pull a window down, but it doesn't really help. Whereas in all the modern trains had air conditioning. But they don't run these anymore. They're gone, thankfully. Alright, the market. So... Originally, parts of this used to be on the beach and at the little farm next door. But then... Here I had like a bunch of fruit trees and I couldn't really think what to do, so I decided to convert it all to a market. And not really care about having an orchard, I guess. I mean, I kind of do, but... Not really. I think it's fine, the way... I'd rather this. Um, but yeah, it's like a little mini market. Place to get produce. And then there's a place to buy seafood. I also went to the effort of 
hiding music players so then the Peruvian loot music could play throughout the market because I just associate that with a lot of markets. There's always someone selling CDs with this kind of music. So, um, further down for the market, there's a place we buy, I guess, jewelry and then just umbrellas. Figured that would work well. Next door, a farm. The entry is just a table to cook food, a tractor with a canister. Go further in. Have the actual farm itself. Um, so I tried to make like an outdoor sort of shed looking structure. So I went with this. I just put like a workbench, an outdoor shed, and then these walls to kind of enclose it. And it just has random things around the place to make it look like, yeah, this is just where tools are stored. Um, the little gyroids are working. Water tank, and then I put barrels and just dropped random things like shrubs and uh, seeds on top. Just to add detailing. So yeah, the gyroids are working the farm. It's kind of the same here. It's just more or less the same. A gyro getting water out of the well. And just more farming stuff going on. I mean, the more you look there, you can see more detailing. Random tools like watering cans, shovels, bin, bags. Okay. And yeah, just placing random scooters and bikes everywhere just makes sense. Okay, around the pier. So, I set up a shop to buy bait, surfboards, um, just anything relating to fishing. And then, you know, I kind of set the stuff at the pier. Made sense. Set up another rock pool here. Also on the beach is a fish and chips place. This is what I associate with summer here. You go to the beach and there's a place where you can get fish and chips. Surprised that the fish you need to make this isn't available in summer. That's, I think, the thing that threw me off the most. I had to go to effort to get this outside of summer, but got it in the end. One of the daily uh, mystery islands ended up being in the correct season, so I was able to do it in the end. And then, yeah, there's a kitchen. Just has fish, a potato, a cash register, two fryers, so one's frying. I mean, one of them is frying onion rings and the other one's frying fries, but let's just forget about it. Alright, that's that area. I should have probably counted how many mats I ended up using, but the one thing you'll notice is I just... These are... These are yoga mats. <laughs> I had to order... If I was to predict, probably 50. I would say there's at least 50 of these everywhere, but I use them as... Like, uh... Another way to do this, because I could have just stamped it on the ground, but the advantage of doing it this way is because... These can be placed at half offsets, so kind of what you see here, you can make it go in a little diagonal pattern. Um, and also there's a little bit of an extra gap between them, so it looks a little different. Just adds variety. And you can also still put another texture underneath it, so some places I have done that. Hey Laura, sorry, I'm just giving a big tour of the island I just finished. 
don't hate onion rings. It's not so much a hate for it. It's more just sufficient chips place. I wanted this one to be frying fish and the other one frying the chips, but one of them clearly has onion rings. I guess if you look closely. Anyway. Onwards. Little ice cream stall. Just to fill a gap. And then here, it's just outdoor area. Just has like a little little grill. I don't know. Someone does exercise at the beach. <laughs> I went for stereotype, it's fine. Think of them as calamari. That's a good, good point. Okay, they're, they're calamari rings. Canonically, they are calamari rings now. Calamari rings are like hit and miss. You have to get them done correctly, because they're one of those foods where if you do them a little too much, they suck. And if you don't cook them enough, they also suck. They just have, like, this perfect middle ground where, where it's good, it's good. Um, alright. Next. Now we're heading to the main part of the island. So let's start with the park. To set up a proper ice cream store. Um, nice. Nice blue flowers. Those blue flowers took me four months to get. So that's why I've put them everywhere on the island, because of the amount of effort I put in to get them. Four months of, like, just trial and error until I finally got one. And then I just cloned it, so... I had to use them. Yeah, ice cream place, and then a little playground. Standard place to sit down. Oh, there's a twig I didn't... Well, I him pick that up. It's alright. Um, I learned something from this, what this stood for. I had never heard the term before, but apparently it's like a British thing. It means water closet. I have never heard it be used here, so I was confused, but I understand what this is now. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, put a little fishing spot here just to make it easier to fish, because that's one thing I overlooked, was just... It was a pain to catch any fish, so I fixed this up a little. Playground... And up here. I wish I could place something here. I would have been able to place, like, seating or something, but it doesn't allow it, so... I still think it looks nice, just would have been nice if in future... Particularly for some of these structures, we can just place stuff underneath it. It'd be nice. I don't know if we will, but... Um, I put... The fancy flowers here, so... Next. Okay. A, this is part of the resort area. So, a little bar just to get juice and frozen drinks. Be straightforward. And then the main part of the resort area. This. This was probably one of the first things I decorated. Because I had the stuff, though. I think it turned out nice. And just using a yoga mat to kind of form the entry here. Added a volleyball court. There's a scoring thing here. I mean, it's hard to see, but it's there. Does he have fleas? He has fleas. <laughs> you can see it. Uh, 
Come here. <laughs> Kick him out. <laughs> he brought the plague. Okay. I also love that he's wearing the pirate's outfit. I wanted to make him like Buggy the Clown from One Piece, so that's why he has a pirate outfit. That's another, another reference. Okay. This was formed because coincidentally I had two rocks kind of appear. And I thought, okay, this is too good to kind of toss that up opportunity out the window, so I put sand around it. Put this so then you don't really notice the green too much. It's like it, it works and then just a little zen bench. But I got lucky. The two rocks kind of got placed together. Same with the other rocks. They're all oriented around the forest area, which took a while to get them to move them over there. I was destroying rocks basically every day for like a month before they all moved over to the forest side. So There's just little things like that that took quite a bit of time. Okay, so this is Melba's place. Um, so in, for lack of an orchard, what I did, I put all the fruit trees as an implied fence. Alright, because next door is like where you buy flowers and stuff, so I think instead of doing a real fence, I did this. I think it works well. So if I do have every fruit tree represented in some way. Um, but yeah, she has a pool, a little outdoor area to sit, to cook food, magazines. Very fancy. And just a pretty normal garden, I guess. It's just pumpkins, sugarcane, potato, a lawnmower. I wish I could go indoors, but it doesn't let me. Um, but I guess past streams of this, you'll be able to see it. It's not like I've changed it much. Her house is just a living area. There's nothing fancy going on. It's just decorated. Okay, continue here. I set up a cake and dessert stall. With just flowers and place to sit with different kinds of cake. Baked goods. Yeah, I like this one. Okay. The store. So, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. It's just... Vending machine, ATM, fire hydrant. Some flowers and a place to fish as well. Let's just I guess move the camera that way. Yeah. Pretty simple. Okay, I skipped over the museum, so let's head into the museum. So the museum just has a bunch of artifacts around the place. I put some piers in so if people want to fish they can. There's like a little bit of a spot here to sit down, or you can do that. And yeah, just random things, so statues, fossils, um, just stuff that I felt was museum-like. So I did craft that out of gold. I bought the crown so then I could display it. It's like a million bells, that one. But I ended up using it in the build, so it's fine. Just more exhibits, and then I have a library. So it's just a study area. It's just space, the human body, and there's books and stuff, another place to fish. This is just for the Ease of being able to fish. And then, yeah, the bridge leads this way. Okay. Um, in the middle, 
block, fountain, some seats, and you know, because it's displaying fossils and marine life. I figured that would work. I did attention to detail because on the right side of the museum it is the aquatic life. And then on the left side, or centre, it's dinosaurs and bugs and all that stuff, so... I went to that attention to detail. Alright. Keep going. So in the middle here, did make like a little back area where you can fish. Because I didn't know what to do between these two buildings and I figured, yep, more fishing spots can't hurt. And it works. Okay, clothing store, so I just set up a display outside. Little reference to Dragon Ball because of Akira Toriyama's passing. I did have the Dragon Ball in the back left corner as well. But this one's simple, it's just... Not really a whole lot to it, it's just the ground and just... These items scattered around the place. It's not fancy, but it does the job. Alright. Scoot's Gym. Which we've seen the inside of a little bit already, but... You can aspire to be Scoot. Rock climbing. Lockers. I mean, speedball. Punching bag. Plot bar. Place to lift weights. Um, I guess bike riding. Put this in the middle as well. And if someone wants to be lazy and just watch TV, they can. Um, then the storefront. So Scoot sells supplements. So it's just a supplement store. He also has his own line of clothing, gym clothing, so this is the Scoot range. He has that t-shirt, the shorts, and uh, the bag as well. Z for zip zoom. I have more ways to get money out. Okay, next door to Scoot, Julia. So Julia's place is more natural. So I tried to squeeze in a yacht that kind of looks like it's going to go out. A functional yacht. It's believable sometimes, depending on the angle. Like, if you look at it at this angle, I think it's fine. Like, it's convincing enough. I tried to hide the seams. It, it does work. Uh, she has pets, so pet turtles. And then just living amongst nature, so there's waterfalls, flowers, butterflies. A little garden at the back here. And a little beach chill area, so. A spot for the turtle as well. A little bed. Place to cook. A little spa sort of thing. <laughs> I put kitty litter because that's, I guess, turtle. Pet turtle uses that, not a cat. And yeah, a little place to bathe. I couldn't get the doghouse ultimately, but I think it's fine. Like, it sells the idea that these turtles are, are pampered. And yeah, other than that, it's just like jungly looking stuff. For the statues, vines, growing moss. Okay. The big piece here is the amusement park, which is run by the run by Pietro and Pashmina. Originally, it was just this side was Pietro's. And then I got the idea to remake this, because this was just a standard looking house originally. 
And then I saw because Pashmina runs like a diner on the inside, which I guess we can see. I remodeled it to make it match the outside. So now it's, they both run this together. And yeah, it's like a sheep and a goat. It, it kind of works. Did not plan it, but it works. Do like a, one of these around it. I like what I did with this. Why? Oh, she has the crafting. Why does she have the crafting bench out? Was she crafting something earlier? That's weird. There should be another counter there with food, but I think she was crafting something earlier. I mean, it still looks fine. It's not horrible, but it's not what I had originally. Why is this here? That's so weird. They usually only pull that out when they're crafting. Anyway. So that's Pashmina's. I wish I could go into Pietro's, but Pietro's, I set up a stage. So it's like almost like a comedy club. It looks good. If you're interested, you look up the older VODs and you'll find it. Um, yeah, the theme park. Bunch of rides. Not sure what this is for, but you know, whatever, it's here. <laughs> it matches. Um, a tiki bar, karaoke bar. So, I think you can get it, yeah. Yeah, you can. And frozen drink machine behind. I wish I could place it inside, doesn't allow it. So, the outside of the diner is just more, uh, seating. The put a jukebox out here. More food. Animal Crossing. The last Animal Crossing. <laughs> this is it. I'm done with the island, so this is the last one I'm doing. Uh, outdoor showers for the beach. So, I guess I set up stalls. A place to get tickets. A fortune teller. And then show bags, which I don't think are a universal concept, but... That's what I think of when I go to one of these places, just they're selling show bags. So, that's what that's for. Um, outdoor sitting area, outside of the theme park. Changing rooms for the beach. And on this beach, it's just a pretty normal beach. It's just... Towels, sandcastle. I put this out here. For more sports. Um, I guess lifeguard area. Yeah, seriously, this is, this is it. I'm done with the island. I've, I've done all my decorating. I uploaded it before, so I'm just, like, going around it one last time. Properly, slowly. Yeah, that's... Just a normal beach area. Okay. I am not going to explain this one. This one, if you're here for when I set up, you'll understand the joke. <laughs> if you don't... All you need to know is this is, uh... Customs, because... This island is in Australia, and... Customs is very strict. If you know specifically... What... This is referencing... 
I hope you enjoy the joke. Anyway. Uh. Alright. The gardening place. So up the front, stalls selling gnomes and just stuff for the garden. Then tools on the left. More flowers. Yes, border patrol, that's what that is. But can you can you identify specifically what that is referring to? <laughs> that is the question. Okay. Yeah. Little flower cart in the background. So the flower arrangement here. I mean, it's just showing that I got every flower there is. This is every flower. Every hybrid. <laughs> Took ages. But now, you can't say I didn't do this. Because the first time I played this in 2020, I think that was the thing people were saying the most was just... You should get the flowers and also make your island look nice. Because you make stuff look nice. And I just never did it. The first island just is is empty by comparison. It does it doesn't look bad given there wasn't stuff like custom um, patterns that you could download and browse. There was a way to get custom patterns on there, but it was a little clunky. Um, but the island, I really did not put any effort into making things look nice. So this is what this was about. Yeah, I mean some of these are easier to get than others. Uh, oh, we can actually go inside her house. That's cool. So, I mean, everything's here. The purples, the greens, and then that one for the five stars. Okay. Going to Daisy's house. So, I set up Daisy's places, uh, again, just place of business slash home. So, it's just going into the gardening center a bit more. But, I mean, there's a kitchen and there's a bed. It's functional. Kind of a shame that when people go visit this island with the code, they won't be able to go into every villager house because all of them have this level of effort in them. It's just unfortunate that it's whatever ones went with the upload, those are the ones you'll be able to visit. But I guess you can revisit the footage if you want to see them all. Oh, I forgot to talk to Daisy. <laughs> that was the sign of. Question mark? Why you no talk to me? Okay. But I think the uh, the property line with the trees worked well. I think that's it. I think I've gone through everything. That's the whole island, I guess. I'm sure there's details that I've missed out on. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I guess I gotta check the upload and see. If there's a case where this gets uploaded as is, then, and it has the reds, and the uh, tent in place, then I'll, I'll leave the upload as is, because it's good. But if it doesn't, I'll just re-upload it with the fixes, or well, THE fix, of that chair missing. But everything else is fine. Why is there a dog on the border patrol? That's part of the joke that I'm not going to explain. It's like, if you know it, you know it. Oh, Pecos is open. Alright, we can see the tea house. Alright, there's more we can see.
Back at the state house. Zoom out. That's better. I mean, she did get a little bit of a downgrade when it comes to the bed. <laughs> but I, I really like this one. This one came out really nice. I'm just a little gyroids being happy to drink tea. This is actually a good time to shot because she's preparing food in the background. I wish I could visit all of them. Okay. I might have another walk around and see if any other villager houses have opened up in the meantime. Alice's is still closed. Maybe Audie's has opened up. Again, just how painful it was to center align that, but it's there. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Audie's is still closed. Well, I mean, I, I guess I showed half of the houses. The other half you can see in previous worlds. It's not like I didn't go through them. It's just I can't force them to open their houses. But yeah, you can uh, have a look at this yourself now that I've uploaded it. It's all here. find a spot. Actually, you know what? I'll do it from the house. Okay. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Just wrapping up this now. Alright. Let me do this and this, then the UI doesn't come up. Yeah. Alright. Well, that is it. This is uh, the end of my Animal Crossing New Horizons playthrough for the second island. Uh, hope you did enjoy the journey through this uh yeah i'm proud of the island i've made and you know it's something that i enjoyed quite a lot uh so it's not going to be the last time you see animal crossing just to clarify it's just i'm done with animal crossing new horizons for now whenever the next game arrives i will be sure to do something similar won't be the same but you know i'll go to the effort of making something look nice and we'll go through the new game uh but yeah i'm i'm content with how this came out ultimately so i guess what's going to replace this i'm not entirely sure but i'll try to stick with the whole theme of at the very least it being a chill and cozy game uh if you do want to suggest stuff i'm open to it uh you can leave comments if you're on youtube or let me know if you did enjoy uh the island as well. Always love to hear from people. 
if you do want to support any of the content over there, or want to watch any of the VODs if you haven't, there's a full playlist of everything. So you can check out from start to finish if you want to go through 141 VODs of it. It's all going to be there. Uh, but yeah, thanks everyone for uh, sticking through this journey, and hope you did enjoy the process of making the island what it was. I'll be sure to do it in future with other stuff, but that'll wrap up Animal Crossing. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, and again, if you want to support any other content on YouTube, just do things like click the like button, subscribe, uh, or watch me play other things by clicking any of the videos that pop up. Even leaving a comment, any of that stuff helps. It just tells the algorithm, hey, this, this content's good, so thank you to those that do that. It does mean a lot. But that's it from me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the playthrough, and I'll see you uh, next time another Animal Crossing game pops up. <laughs>